Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync to a MIDI drum machine in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here with two parts. I have a piano and a synth lead. Let's hear it. So I want to add a drum part to this, but I want to use a drum machine, which is an analog unit that I want to play in time with Reaper. So we have to sync it up using MIDI or MIDI timecode. Now the drum machine I'm using in this video looks a lot like this. But what we're doing here will work with most drum machines. So don't feel you have to use the same one I'm using, but check your drum machines use a manual as we're going to focus on Reaper more in this video. So there's two different ways of doing this, and each way is based on which device we want to be the master. So the first way is going to have the drum machine as the master. So we'll take a MIDI cable out of the drum machine and plug it into our MIDI interface, which is plugged in to the computer. And we should also plug in the audio outputs of the drum machine into your audio inputs on your audio interface, like this. Now let's make a new track in Reaper. We'll name it Drum Machine and set that track up with the audio inputs we just plugged in. I'm using five and six on mine, so we'll choose that here. Make sure we turn on input monitoring and put the track into record. So now if I hit play on my drum machine, I should hear my drum part that's programmed on that drum machine. And I do, but I want that part to play in sync with Reaper, with these tracks here. So we need to lock that up. So if we're using the drum machine as a master, Reaper's going to be the slave. So to set that up, we'll go to the menu under options, go down here to external timecode synchronization. Then we'll go over here to synchronization settings, and that opens up this dialog. So we'll turn it on here and choose the input based on our MIDI interface. This is mine right here, MTC or MIDI timecode. So I'll choose that. Now for the most part, we can leave everything here as is based on the default. But if you're doing more advanced things, you might want to check these out. For instance, if the drum machine's a bit out of sync with Reaper, we could adjust that here either positive or negative values to make the timing perfect between the drum machine and Reaper. But I'm going to leave this for now and see how it sounds. So it's turned on here. So if I hit play in Reaper, it's not going to play. Right down here, it's waiting for timecode. MTC sync. So it's waiting for MIDI timecode coming from the drum machine. Now at this point, we should go to our drum machine and check the global settings. Again, it's going to be different on every unit, but for the most part, you're looking for MIDI timecode out. Just make sure you turn that on. And if your drum machine doesn't have that option, you can't really do it this way. But don't worry, I'm going to show you the other way in a bit. So with MIDI timecode output turned on, if we hit play on the drum machine, Reaper should play also. Let's go back a bit to bar three and hit play on the drum machine. Perfect. The drum machine is playing through this track and we can hear it synced up perfectly with these tracks. Now, if you watch down here on the transport, notice how it changes. It goes from synchronization and it switches to chasing when it's synced up. And 
But like I said, if it's out of time, go back here to synchronization settings and readjust the time code right here, either with a positive or a negative value to get them perfectly in time. So that's how we set it up with the drum machine as master and Reaper as a slave. But like I said, some drum machines won't work that way. And if you think about it, a lot of times you prefer to have Reaper as the master, making the drum machine a slave. So for this, we'll plug the MIDI cable from our output of our MIDI interface to the input of our drum machine. Then we'll go back to Reaper. We'll make sure this is off here. So Reaper is not a slave anymore. Now it'll be the master. Then we'll go back to the drum machine to the global settings and change the clock from internal to external or MIDI timecode in. Again, that's going to change based on your drum machine. But almost all drum machines will respond to incoming MIDI timecode. So once that's set up, we're going to go to the preferences inside Reaper. And we'll go down here to MIDI devices and find our MIDI interface under the outputs, right down here. This is the one I'm using, and right now it's disabled. So let's double click it and turn on enable output to this device and send clock to this device. That's going to send the MIDI timecode out the MIDI cable into our drum machine. So now Reaper could be the master while the drum machine is the slave. Hit OK. And now if we hit play in Reaper, the drum machine should slave to the incoming MIDI timecode. Hit play. Once again, it's synced up perfectly. And if it's a bit out of sync, go back to the preferences, double click this, and we can change the setting right here. Again, to be positive or negative and be perfectly in sync between Reaper and the drum machine. But this sounded good, so let's leave it. Now, one of the benefits of having them synced up is we could print each sound to their own tracks. So let's say I wanted to print the kick drum. I could go to the drum machine and turn the other parts off. So we just hear the kick. And go to another track and just do the clap. And the hi hat. And the bass. And finally, the synth pad. And they'll all play together on separate tracks. Or if you want, we don't have to print them at all. We could just create our track with Reaper tracks and the drum machine playing at the same time, synced up perfectly as either the master or the slave. Now, which way you choose really just depends on how you prefer to work. There's really no better way. And like I said, some drum machines will only work as a slave. So in those situations, you only have one choice. But if both ways work, try each way and choose the way that works best for your workflow. So that's pretty much it. That's syncing a MIDI drum machine using MIDI timecode in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!